in large numbers to condole with the family. I thank uh, President Kenyatta. I thank all the governors, the CSs, and everyone else of high office. And, and everyone else here, all the mourners who have come to stand with this family and to acknowledge what kind of a man Professor Magoa was and will always be. We served with Professor Magoa in cabinet and he taught us many things. One thing Professor Magoa was, he was obedient, he was diligent, he was hardworking, and mostly he was not afraid. There was nothing, no task that you gave Professor Magoa that he did not feel he could do, that he did not feel that he could surmount. He wasn't, he wasn't a person who was frivolous. Professor Magoa would never engage in idle talk. He would never gossip. He would never waste time. He often told us that he did not want to stay in the office. And what he wanted to do was to be out there in the field, engaging with teachers, engaging with students, and seeing transformation in that sector through his own eyes. We received news of the loss of Professor Magoa with great sadness with great shock, because he seemed so strong, so forceful, so convicted. It is important that when a man of this stature, a man of the, who holds such deep values, that we who remain behind emulate him and learn from his efforts, learn from his work. Professor gave everything he had, every ounce of energy, every ounce of intellect to discharge his duties as the minister, the CS of education. I don't think that he could have done much more. He leaves a strong legacy and shows us what service is. He shows us what it means to be selfless. He shows us what it means to be dutiful. And therefore we pray that the Lord will comfort his family, will hold them up and will fill that huge gap that has been left behind. And as a cabinet, we pray in the words of the old Irish benediction and pray that as professor, begins his journey to paradise, that the, law, that the road will rise up to meet him and that the wind will always be at his back and that the sun will shine warmly upon his face and that the rain will fall softly upon his field and that until we meet again, that the Lord will hold him in the palm of his hand. Rest in peace, Professor. We are proud of you and we are so honored to have known you. Thank you.